Hello and welcome to another video in which I'm going to tell how to buy a really cheap workstation to trade Bitcoin. Um, as always remember to open a new account on BitMEX, Deribit and or crypto facilities with my referral links which you will find below that will give you 10 to 20 percent discount on trading fees which will really build up over time and I will get a tiny proportion of that uh, for referring you. Uh, right, so um, this is mainly aimed for people who don't have really fast computers. So if you do have one and you don't need another one, you can just switch the video off. But there are plenty of people who are trading Bitcoin on their laptops. And uh, they are probably not aware that very cheaply they can get a really powerful workstation which will uh, get everything done really quick. Uh, so probably the main problem is the amount of RAM that you have available to you. Uh, opening multiple instances of BitMEX, um, OKEx, Bitfinex, then having tickers on and then some other websites if you are trading somewhere else um, will take up a lot of RAM and if you don't have enough of RAM memory uh, then everything will get sluggish and slow. Also, having multiple instances of these exchanges is quite CPU uh, heavy um, and you need to have a decent CPU to uh, deal with that. So, first of all, how do you get a lot of RAM which is cheap? DDR4 RAM is quite expensive at the moment, but you can get DDR3 RAM really cheaply. So, if you want to uh, get a cheap build really quick you need to find something pre-built with uh, one of the Xeon processors um, I think that Xeon X5680 is a really good choice when you look at the um, Xeon processors this is one of the top um, Xeons within this line um, the X5 690 is the fastest among these lines um, and will probably be relatively expensive but you can get uh, a system built on one of these they are six cores 12 thread each as far as I remember um, and for uh, work like um, opening multiple instances of a browser it's it's perfectly fine so this is that processor six cores 12 threads uh, clocked at 3.3 gigahertz quite an old processor but still a very capable one and the benefit of having this processor is that your workstation will be able to use ECC RAM which is server RAM which is these days really really cheap so this is why you can get one of these old workstations really cheap so 12 gigabytes of RAM will probably be enough I would probably aim for 16 gigs or maybe upwards of that but for uh, $130 that is really cheap you can buy some for $200 probably with the uh, hard drive as well um, so essentially you need a multi-cored multi-threaded processor and this one is a very cheap one and a very capable one so you can get it for like $30 to $40 you can get plenty of ECC RAM on the cheap as well you will need a motherboard uh, which will support this you can buy a, a gamers motherboard which will allow you to overclock these Xeons but that's probably an overkill you can just get an old kind of Dell or any other workstation which will support this and either build the system yourself or, or buy a pre-built system like like one of these make sure you have an SSD now the drawbacks of using such a system will be that you might not get a PCI Express 3.0 um, so if you put a really capable graphics card in that computer uh, it might not um, um, you might not benefit from from this super fast graphics card but if you are buying a moderately fast one the PCI Express 2.0 will not be a huge limitation now make sure you get an SSD drive and you are actually good another good thing about these workstations is that they have really good power supplies so when you build a system from the scratch um, you will probably be tempted to buy a cheap power supply while well, these have really good power supplies 
So to wrap it up, to use multiple exchanges, you need plenty of RAM, you need quite a decent amount of, C of CPU power. The laptop will not be a good choice for that. Um, just get one of these old Xeons. Now, it's not only the old Xeons which use DDR3, you can go and scale a little bit higher up. Um, you can still use DDR3 memory with uh, CPUs like two six nine five v2 this is a decent one so you can get this one on the cheap for around two hundred dollars or so and this one has 12 cores 24 threads or you can go for 2590 sorry 2690 or 2670 even they still have plenty of cores so that's essentially it thank you for watching again remember to open a new account on bitmex on Deribit and or on crypto facilities with my referral link below you will get 10 to 20 percent fee discount that will really save you some money and i will get a tiny fraction of your fees from the exchange for referring you and as always remember to like comment and subscribe i have completely omitted the graphics card because you really don't need a fast graphics card uh, i'm sure one of your friends can donate an old graphics card to you um, or a workstation will come with an old graphics card and nearly all of them will do 4k for uh, sort of office um, use uh, if you really need to game on it you'll probably need to uh, buy a, a proper discrete graphics graphics card and in that case just make sure that um, the PCI Express 2.0 will not be a limitation on one of these old workstations Thanks for your attention.